In this tutorial, we will see how the buttons and knobs of the Garmin G1000 are replicated in the Simgeneering G1000 simulator, which runs on the Logitech Flight Instrument panel. The right-hand screen shows the layout of the G1000 primary flight display. The screens on the left are representations of the Simgeneering G1000 simulator primary flight display and multifunction display as they appear on the flight instrument panel. The buttons and knobs on these screens are highlighted when I use the corresponding buttons and knobs on my flight instrument panels, so you can see what buttons are being pressed. For example, now I will press the S1 button on my first flight instrument panel. And now turn the left hand knob on my second flight instrument panel. Labels are displayed on the left hand side of the flight instrument panel showing which button corresponds to which G1000 function. The rectangular shaped labels are for G1000 buttons or soft key functions, and the circle shaped labels are for G1000 knob functions. When more than one column of functions is displayed on the flight instrument panel, the leftmost column is the active set of functions. You can scroll between the columns using the left hand knob on the flight instrument panel. The S1 flight instrument panel button always has the same function. Press it once to bring up the G1000 menu button group. Press it again to bring up the G1000 autopilot button group. Press once more to return to the current active functions. The S1 button works in the same way on the multifunction flight display as on the primary flight display. The left and right hand knobs on the flight instrument panel replicate one of the knobs on the G1000, with the left hand flight instrument panel knob representing the outer portion of a G1000 double knob, and the right hand knob representing the inner portion. By default, the flight instrument panel left and right knobs represent the outer and inner portions of the G1000 FMS knob. Which G1000 knob is active can be controlled using the menu button group. Press the S1 button to bring up the menu button group. The active knob assignment is highlighted, in this case the FMS knob is active. To assign a different active knob, for example the heading knob, press the corresponding button on the flight instrument panel. The heading knob is now active, and turning the left hand knob on the flight instrument panel will change the heading bug. When one of the flight instrument panel knobs is turned, a label will appear briefly above it to indicate the currently assigned knob function. If the active knob is reselected using the menu button group, in this case the heading knob, it has the same effect as pressing the knob on the G1000 if the knob also has a button function. Pressing the G1000 heading knob will set the heading bug to the current heading. The knobs that are available on the primary flight display are the FMS, heading, altitude, and course barrow knobs. The knobs that are available on the multifunction flight display are the FMS, range, Navigation Radio and Communications Radio knobs. This tutorial showed you how the G1000 buttons and knobs are represented on the flight instrument panel. For information on the different functions of the G1000 refer to the G1000 manual, which can be found online, and the other demonstration and tutorial videos on the Simgeneering YouTube channel.